What's him that used to be cute but now he's fat? Oh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Good, uh, good day. Welcome. It's not good morning. It's afternoon, isn't it? I don't know what time it is. We what? left you yesterday just as we were approaching Market Drayton. And we pick you up today, yeah. this, this moment in time. Market Drayton's just there. We're just going through Market Drayton in a momento. Momento of time, though? It, it's as, as windy as it was yesterday. Funny enough, yes. But these are a much nicer audience than I'm yesterday's. Who did you get that? Is that Larry Grayson or...? Bruce Forsyth. Bruce Forsyth, yeah. So... I've never got a keen on Bruce Forsyth, actually. Ethel's all ready. Ethel, Ethel ready the ready. Got this bit. Um, and the canopy's blowing away. It's fine. Will you calm down, woman? There's nothing worse when you're boating. Anybody who's done it will know. Rain, snow, sleet, burning You moaned off, the whole fine, way through. But wind. I've got a new song for you. There's a floating island there we've just had to negotiate. I've got a new song for you. What? Moaning Mini. Moaning Mini, Moaning Mini. I don't know. No. I'm going to say something now. No. Fuck. So anyway. You know we've got to bleep all this, don't on you? On this journey, we're going to try and get through Market Drayton without stopping because there's no television signal there. And there's a lot of stuff on the telly I want to watch tonight. I've got some good news for you, John. You know how I can be excitable and hyper? No. Well, yeah, I can. I've just had an energy drink. Oh. Right, we're just going under the A53. Uh, Hello, A53. 53. Why is it? Right. Modern bridges give you... I know. Naff all room. Look at the angle of that. Yeah, it needs to curve it. In the olden days, when they made a march the and brick, days. they used to know how to get build bridges, but Two lab modern doors. engineers yeah. just... Uh, Yeah. See a yellow, yellow peril, John. Oh my God! It's an ex-Viking afloat. Where? Oh, that yellow peril. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if, when you buy an ex-Iron boat off Viking afloat, I wonder if you're taught to be as dangerous and obnoxious as it's possible to be. No, no. I think, I think it's in the handbook. That I, can I play actually it. think that when you buy one, they should paint it for free, <laughs> so yeah. you don't get a bad name for yourself. Anyway, this is Market Drayton. We're just coming past an ice cream boat. Hello. You're not having an ice cream? Well, we've got about 15 Cornettos in the freezer. 14. 14. One disappeared yesterday. Oh, that's all right. And it was a caramel one, no, I had one then. It was caramel salty, it was nice. So we won't be buying today, thank you. Ooh. And for that reason, I'm out. So these are the visitor moorings at Market Drayton. Oh dear. Always a busy spot. There are rings, but further down when the rings run out, you have, you have to hammer pins into granite. And we have done it in the past, but I wouldn't do it again. We don't, we don't do pins. It's either rings or armco for us because we're wimps aren't we is there somebody there hello now we're passing the boat that was more just in front of us last night oh right up is that a boat what is that a boat coming this way yeah it's coming really weird we haven't seen anybody now they're all coming <laughs> i don't know what it's well, going to be like actually coming out of I don't know what it's going to be like at Turley, but we'll we'll see. We're we're just going to. I'm, I'm going to wear Tom's cycling crash helmet. We'll be all right. I can't see. Whoever thought sunglasses helped you in the sun? Because I can't see. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's busy at at, at Market Drayton. Can I ask you a question? Because you, you're in charge of like the correspondence. Yeah. Right. I've got chocolate around my mouth. No. Mm -hmm. Right. You know when I do all this and I go, hi, does it annoy you anyone? I don't know. Ask, him. ask your mum. Right. When I do mom? this, I go, hi, does it annoy people? Yeah, your mum. 
my mother, bless her. Can, can we just clarify something? That we took Tom's mum out no, no, the other week. Right. Did John steal this mug off you? I thought you bought it for us on the boat. And I thought you said that, oh, if you like it, well, I've got news for you. You're not having it back. <laughs> You're a thief. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I did send that twenty quid. I checked. Yeah. I swear, my my brain, like, I can't remember what I had for breakfast. Don't know about where are all these boats coming from. Oh, it's early. It's early. Yeah. They've all done this scary early. Don't mention it's early. Do, do, do. I just asked that chap if it's busy at Turley Locks, he says it's very quiet. I, I don't know if that's a help or a hindrance. We'll see. There'll be lots of bish bash boshing, whatever happens. You've got no hope, especially in this wind. But it's only a, bo it's only a boat. So this is why we won't have a new one, because we're not going to be too precious about it. It gets bashed about, it gets bashed. Amen. Right, here we are on the entrance, the approach to Turley. I will be crying at some point. That chap's just said there's a boat coming out. Well, I don't know where he's going to go. Oh well, never mind. What happens, happens. I am absolutely. I know we're down in the trees now. It's blowing a gale. There's a boat coming out the lock. The bar wash is just going to be doing this. Don't like boating. Hello, Mr. Fishing Person. Have you caught anything? You've been there long enough. Can't make out what's going on at this lock. Yeah, as you can see, there's don't. Oh, somewhere around the prop. There's not much room to pass once you've come out of this bottom lock at Turley. But at least we're out of the wind. But I know once we get up, once we've done at least one lock, we're back in the exposed open air. Right, I can't see what the bywash is doing. Doesn't look too bad to be honest. But I'll turn the camera off in case I do start crying. Uh, this is the second lock at Turley. Well, second for us going up. Being thrown around like a good one. Oh, I'll be so glad when we've done this. Unfortunately, at this moment in time, the front camera is not working. But I don't know what he said. I'm going to try and go around and fix the front camera. You might not see me again. I think what had happened with the front camera is it got a bit scared and it went like that. But we think it's alright now. So how many have we done? One? Two, two? Yeah. Number three's by wash looks a bit hefty. 
Right, I am hovering. Lock. Lock. Looks empty. There's a boat just come down. I can't see any water coming through the gates. But there's an almighty bar wash at the side of it. So if I can hover here, amazingly, out of the wind. And then uh, if Tom can get that gate open, I can get in. Uh. And, then, and then all we've got is wood sleeves cuttings, which is just about wide enough for one and a half boats. <laughs> Love boating. Are you alright? Tom? Are you alright? Yeah. What happened? We get if we get up, to, up here alive, a pair of us, it'd be a miracle. You frighten me to death. It's fun, you know. This is it's fun. Not this a competition. Hi, John. Hi, Ethel. Now, I've got broken shoes on, which I've gaffer taped. But I don't think that was a problem. So, <laughs> I just literally was closing it up. I fell here and rolled down to there. So, muddy jeans, spoilt pride, and John shouting, Where are you? And that's the story, really. It's now started to rain. We've got two more locks to do, and then about two miles of Woods Eve's cuttings before there's a mooring. It's raining. Right, we're just approaching. Hello, hello. Oh, the green lines again. I'm not paying attention. This is the fourth lock. The gates open, fabulous. Bar wash doesn't seem to be too bad. Oh, Golden Bennett. This is fun. I'd tell me Parkinson's nurse if I had one. John? In... Yes. Honestly, not my fault. What? Up the gate, come off your tinges, but this is what? I'm talking to your mum. Talking to your mum. Look, there's this big stick behind it apparently. What fun. Darling, my name's Tom. This is a camera. How are you? How are you? Hello. How are you? You've not got teeth, have you? Um, what have I got to give you? Yeah. What's that like? Okay. Oh, can I say hello? I don't bite. Hmm? Oh. Oh, am I having a lick? Thank you. I wanted to do a lady's wee wee. Can't eat it yet. You have to wait till it's a bit, you know, bits. You know, whatever they do with it. That's all. Finally reached the top and it stopped raining. And the beautiful Turley Wharf. 
What we can do is just empty it safe plastic. Put that free plastic. Oh yeah. Right, that's Taylor Locks done. Hurrah! Is it me or is there something about? Uh, I don't know. No, I think it's a piece of canopy. So we're going to go under this bridge and then we've got, I think it's 1.7 miles of uh, woodsy cuttings. Um, yeah. Just to add to the excitement. And then I, I do hope. Who's that a picture of? Leon Trotsky? Is that Leon Trotsky? Why would you have that on your boat? Who is it? A, a Russian. Oh, I think that is a sunken boat. Um, you said it wasn't. Uh, I didn't say it wasn't. I couldn't see that far ahead. Anyway, we just hope that there's a moor in it outside the Wolf Tavern. This is challenging. Sorry, I'll talk to your mum. I had a sheltered boat and he went, are you joking? But no. Well, I was kind of hoping I was in a parallel universe and there wasn't one. It's, re it's raining again. It's raining. We just said to them people on that boat, is there another boat behind you and they said no love which means that somewhere there will be a boat where behind them where i'm from like the northwest it's quite normal for men to say to men look normal well we're not in the northwest do you know when i moved to, to stoke i had to really really relearn i kept calling people love and it got me so much or oh, chuck or oh, cock cock's another one you're right cocker duck no, we don't say duck. Oh. Not common. But yeah, cocker. You're right, cocker. Anyway, I'm ready to collapse. It's black! I do hope there's a mooring at the end of this. I reckon we've got about another mile to go. If there isn't, there's a windy knoll and I'm just going to drop anchor in the middle of it. Oh, my legs are killing me. I don't quite know what my neurologist would make of all this. I'd probably be horrified. <laughs> Kate Winslet or Olivia, uh, Oli, what, what's his name? What's him that used to be cute but now he's fat? Oh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Are you Leonardo DiCaprio or Kate Winslet? We can't sing the song because otherwise we'll get a strike off YouTube. He's oh, that's sad. He's standing on the pointy end of the boat as an advanced lookout. Yeah, I hope he's got better balance than Leonardo DiCaprio. You need a what? 
I've got a monocular here. I've got one of them. I've got one for. I've got one with two eyes as well. Aren't you supposed to be looking? Aren't you supposed to be looking that way? Oh, I'm not paying attention. I'm running aground. How am I supposed to see that past that lump? Yeah. John, I'm in the impact zone. Is this your chance to get rid of me? This is the slowest game of chicken in the world. He seems to think there's a boat moored. Yeah, hello. I said. Yeah, Daddy. Well, I hope he's broken down and I'm just chosen to park there. John, I'm in the impact zone. Yeah. Is this your chance to get rid of me? Oh, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to rock the boat, rock the boat, rock the boat, baby, rock the boat, tip the boat, rock the boat, rock the boat. Oh shit, I nearly fell The boat that Kate Winslet thought was moored appears to be moving in our direction. So we've got to find somewhere where we can pass. It's going to be fun. Hey ho! with this boat. So it looks a bit more robust than us. Thank you. I wasn't going to take you on Ed first because you look a lot more robust than us. I like the sides. Yeah, it's looking a bit tired now. We've got to decide. Yeah, it needs a lacquer over it or something. Thank <laughs> you.